what's happening guys, Andy Castro here from Manchester.org and we're here with my boy Tyrone for the second time now. We're gonna hit up the best pata in Bangkok here at Tip Samai restaurant. It's an OG establishment here in Bangkok. It's very well known, so if you don't know, now you know. I'm serious. Oh, oh. Yeah, I'm serious. He's, he's the charming character of the poem. Hi, hello. He's so thoughtful. Nice to see you again. Hey Andy, I want that one. Thank you. Your first time, Tyrone? This is my second time here. Second time? Correct. Are you excited? Uh, kinda. <laughs> uh, you know, carbon loading is never a good thing at night. But this is tips of mine, so all bets are off. That's the coach Tyrone coming out. Yeah, he's a chef, but he's a coach too. He's a big ball player. And, you know, maybe you couldn't tell from his height, but yeah. He is. This hip's cool. This is the must. Uh, these are the accompaniments of the pad thai, traditional one that you have to put inside of the pad thai and mix around. Bean sprout, spring onion. Then we got baby bananas. It's quite bitter. Banana heart. Banana heart. Or is it banana liver? Heart. <laughs> okay. Banana heart. But yeah, basically, little baby bananas that you tear off and it's quite bitter and you chuck it in the pad thai. It's all about the contrast here yeah, between the sweet, the sour, the spicy, a little bit of bitterness. So it contains all the flavor profiles in one. I guess that's why it's such a popular dish, right? Pad Thai is so, you know, famous for that. Your thing, chicken wing. Best seller here in Tip Samai, orange juice. Forget about the Pad Thai. It's all about the orange juice. Because <laughs> they make it fresh, yeah? Yeah, they, they, they do make it fresh. You have to drink this within the day. Yeah. Or else, for sure, you're going to drink it the next day. So. <laughs> Check. You see the pop bits? Oh, poppy goodness! Look at that! Oh, look at that! No preservatives, nothing. It's so thick, it's not even coming out. Yeah, freshness. Purity. Who needs ice in a cup? Just go straight from the pico, you know? In Spanish you say pico, let's try. That is incredibly sour and sweet. It comes both at the same time. It's just, yeah, it's so good. The pulp factor is off the chain. It's so thick, really. You just go in with the pico. And the pulp is like blocking the juice to come through. Ah, uh, but it's good, you get a mouthful of that pulpy goodness. I love pulp, some people don't. Hey, it's gonna hate. I'm gonna name my son Javier Nacho Libre Bautista. Oh, ho. Huh? Latino to the ass crack. <laughs> and then my next son will be Esqueleto. Esqueleto? <laughs> Make sure you feed him well, huh? <laughs> what I've observed from the cooking technique outside is that they cook all the pad thai in one big wok with one guy.
they cook all the pad thai in one big wok with one guy. He passes it on to the guy that cooks the eggs. They scramble the egg almost like an omelette and they just chuck it quickly onto the wok and it creates like a, a crepe like sort of consistency, thin layer of egg. He takes it out, he then re gets that pad thai with the egg and repeats the process one more time so that the egg encapsulates it a second time with a second layer. Come on, when you put that much effort into a dish, there's no one that they're crowning this game and they're the kings, isn't it? Here it is. The Tipsamai Pad Thai. Check it out. So, here are the condiments that is a must when you're eating Pad Thai. And you know what? It's going with your hands. It's, oh, it's condiments. You have to put it there. This is a baby banana. Baby banana. Check it out. Oh, the lime. Must. Must lime. And then spring onion. Just put that shit. Lime. Yeah. Yes. Now the splitting action. That egg is split up. Oh, baby. <coughs> Vinegar. This is the vinegar. All over, baby. This is vinegar. And the chili. Check it out. Dry chili. Thank you very much. Let's give it a bit of a mix up. See? Unlike Tyrone, I like to do the due process properly. Going in with the first bite. Let's see. Does it deserve the crown? The best pad thai in Bangkok. Mm. Oh yeah. It's so uh, seafood. -y. There's a lot of seafood musk in there. I think they put quite a lot of fish sauce in there. Oh, but that's good. It is a unique flavor, it's just something different to everything else. Holy oh, hell, yeah. that's good. Mm. The toastiness from that chili is very aromatic. The it, it perfumes. It goes to the back of the palate, up to the nose a little bit. That's so good. You know, all these condiments, there's such a little playful thing about this dish that I really love. Mm. Here's the big ass prawn. Check it out. Already peeled for you. Here we go. We're going to have. That prawn is super. Meaty. Damn. Two for days. Oh, that's so, so good. The seafood in Thailand is so amazing. It really never disappoints. Mm. So, Tyran, the pandora, how was the pad thai? Well, you know, some people would say, come on, it's just pad thai. You can have it anywhere. But I beg to differ. You know why? For me, what separates uh, Tip Samai from the rest probably would be the, the noodles that they use for the Pad Thai. The texture is much different, it's thinner, and the way they cook it, it's just perfect for the sauce, for, for the ingredients altogether. Tip Samai retains the number one position when it comes to. Yeah, it's basically unique, right? They do it different to everyone else. They got their own style. All right, that's it for Andy Castro. 
and Tyrone, the ponderer, for this episode of Munch Tours here at Dipsamai. Any final thoughts, Chef? Translation, delicious halal. If you like what you see today, hit the subscribe, hit the like. I'll see you next time. Andy Castro and Tyrone out.